Camping Free by the Capitol. There's the name of this stupid video. Great, great little little spot, man. So once again, I am back in Jefferson City. And long day of working, and now I am, uh, instead of driving home, I'm going to camp at Dry Fork Recreation Area, which I just uh, checked out my last trip here a little while back. So I'm gonna stay there tonight. Actually, I'm gonna do some exploring in the morning. There's a couple things that I failed to see last time that I, I just didn't do any research and I got home and started looking over the area and there's a couple things I missed. Ooh, it's a purple Taco Bell. I mean, you gotta have like Aztec colors. I mean, maybe purple's in there somewhere, but what is this, lint? Hello. So I'm at Pine Ridge. It's not packed by any means. There, I gave him a wave on the way in so he didn't get another one on the way out. Plus I might be back. I'll wave at him twice then. So we are going to go to Dry Fork. Okay, I'm here at Dry Fork uh, Recreation Area. I picked, I don't know what campsite number this is, but I can find out. It's number seven. By the way, I'm backed up. It, you can't really see the campsite, but I'll give you a tour. It's not that exciting. It's campsite. Oh, a trail goes down. I remember there's a trail that uh, went down, followed the dry creek that met up with Cedar Creek Trail last time, so that probably goes down there. So yeah, I made it and we're gonna change. <sighs> there, I changed. Much better. But uh, after the ticks last time, saw a couple ticks and that was like a month ago, so <laughs> it's warmer now and there's more foliage, leaves have all filled in. So I'm getting something out of the car and I feel something fall on my, hit my head. Immediately, I'm like, gosh darn it. It was just a little piece of piece of tree. Grabbed a brewski from the Patuski. Ah, refreshing. So, let's take a campsite tour, shall we? Here's the road and coming down here into campsite number seven at Dry Fork Recreation Area. Nice, a little simple, simple campsite. A couple places to park. A place where I put my car in a nice flat spot. And it's perfectly level. I checked my leveler and Good to go. Picnic table, brand new picnic table. Replaced the wood fairly recently. Yeah, good spot. Problem is the bathroom's on the other side, but that's okay. These are the best climbing trees right here. Tree is like, do not F with me, man. You are not climbing me. Like no branches anyway. First of all, I'm not growing any branches for you to dangle your carcass from and elevate yourself. And then just in case you can monkey your way up, which I could actually. I'm throwing thorns up in here so that you don't stand a chance without injury. So I can take a hint. I will not climb you, Mr. Tree. So this is the campsite. I thought a trail was down here, but it's not. It's just a trail to this little flat for tents and tree frogs and hitching post. The hitching post in uh, Solvang, California. Actually, it's not in Solvang. It's in Bu Bula, Bula, ah, dang it. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Probably not. If you see the movie Sideways, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, go for it. He's gonna tear you up. Just stick it right in here. See, he's like right here. He's telling you right here. That breeze is refreshing. Actually, I glanced at the forecast and it's just sunny, 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 sunny. And I'm driving here and there's dark clouds, cumulus clouds, all around, puffing all around. That's what they do, they puff, get puffy. Forecast said like six o'clock, 60% chance, seven o'clock, 70%. I could, I can have a little shower, cool things off. The breeze feels fantastic. It's also shaking the ticks out of the trees, so that's awesome. Tick shake. So it's rainy and sprinkling right now, but protected by the, uh, these leaves currently. But I'm gonna have to get in the car. I guess I don't have the tent up yet. I'm thinking about going to the other campsite. I don't know why. It's because I have nothing to do until dark, so that'll kill time going to the next campsite. I think I 
might need a little bigger uh, carpet. <laughs> yeah, I roll that up, I can squeeze it in my car. Anything bigger, I can't really fit in my car very good. That's why I don't have a bigger one. Storage. Are you ready for this? This is kick ass. You ready? Five ninety nine. Harbor Freight. <laughs> Has a sheath too that fits right on my Molly panel. Molly panel. I call it Molly because you know, you know why if you know. Anyway, machete. But look, this is the main selling point was the saw teeth. Like, that's fabulous. It's better than my shovel. It just has a little thing of saw teeth. Go bushwhacking. Good purchase. Five ninety nine. Come on. Went there to get some ratchets and sockets and such, and walk out with a machete. Shake it, don't break it. Now this is a sad meal addition to the compilation. This is the saddest of sad meals. So I've seen two little seed ticks. Man, I mean, uh, I'm about to just go, but I got everything out now. Just sitting here and they're just gonna eat under the awning. The saddest meal ever. And this is probably the saddest, probably. I hope I don't top it, but. And then I forgot avocados. Oh, but pretty sad meal. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Can't even sit at the picnic table because I want to be under something. I could have pulled the car up and put the just right and had the awning over the picnic table. Wouldn't that be cool? Don't care. About to get out of here now if I find another seed tick. I mean, that is bad news. Ticks are bad, number one, but those little microscopic sons of biscuits, those are the worst. Philip, I'm honestly, it's 8 8.05. It's talking about 8.30. I'm ready to crawl up in bed, watch a little show, and pass out. Hopefully, pass, hopefully, sleep. Oh my god, please sleep. Please don't listen to every little thing outside and wake, wake you up. So, okay, the canteen of fun has been in this car. Oh my god, has this water been in here since it's like a month? Almost a month. It's like a fine wine. Really? It tastes totally fine. I'm just trying to remember. I, I can't believe it. It tastes that good if it really has been in the car for a month. Could be a little colder, obviously, but but I have fresh water in my three gallon thing that I brought. Anyway, my point was, I gotta fill up my water before bed. That way I can drink water way too late and have to get up and pee every two seconds because I'm really smart. Enough water talk for the night, good boy. Oh, you like, like this, by the way? I don't like, I don't wear hats like this flat thing that the kids do nowadays. That doesn't work for my, my head. I'm not against it. It just looks stupid. This is what we we did 30 years ago. So I kind of I'm kind of not going full bend, but craniums. What are you gonna do? All right, man. Look at that. Look at that little twilightness going on. All right. Reason number 135 why I want to move to New Mexico. They don't have ticks, and if they do, I don't want to know about it. In fact, I've never been bitten by a bug in New Mexico or anything. In New Mexico, Colorado, anywhere. You are not humid, you know? Once you add humidity, you get all kinds of bugs and Satan and... So yeah, it's time, it's time to start asking people to like, like and subscribe and comment and all that crap. Man, I hate that though. I guess I don't... Some videos you watch and they ask, please like and subscribe and it's annoying. Others is like, okay, yeah, I kinda wanna help you out. But it just depends. You should definitely like and subscribe, and if you do, you'll be able to watch the next video for free. In the video that preceded this one, where I gave more details about Dry Fork Recreation Area and Pine Ridge Recreation Area with free dispersed camping, um, lots of details about that. You'll be able to watch that for free if you like and subscribe now. Pretty good. Pretty good. Man, I came back from the bathroom and there's a deer, I couldn't see it. The woods are very thick there, but I could hear it galloping in the woods. Do deers gallop? Horses gallop. Deers have to gallop. They prance. I think they prance. Reindeer prance. You can't see prance without the lisp. So, so no, I'm not trying to be offensive. I'm just trying to be honest. So there's a difference. All right, again, I'm just going to go to sleep. But I'll get my REM between... 
now or an hour from now, more like two hours from now, to 3 a.m. REM, deep, deep, deep sleep, good, 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 and be wide awake. And then I'll just force myself to get up early. I'll just tell myself coffee. REM, REM. This one goes out to the one that gets the most sleep. Bye bye. <laughs> I hope we can hear the coyotes. It's awesome. Buenos dias. Wash my face. Up and at them. Ready for some coffee. Slept okay. Couldn't fall asleep first, then a couple cars came through, and the car came through, parked over there. I think they're still camping. Parked on the opposite side of the loop, so maybe can't site number three. I'm in seven. And uh, I heard they park and that car doors heard humans talking like probably two i mean i figured all this out just laying here so this is why i can't sleep and then it gets quiet and i hear hear people walking and like walk the loop they walk by and they kind of stood here I'm like oh great so i'm like hey don like oh i'm sorry we're just looking to see if other people are here and we've been here before blah 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 so i think it was a lady and a dude i think they went away their way and I think they set up camp and camp I passed out so one thing I've always complained about I don't have a table I don't want to make coffee over there because I, I want to be under this because I'm paranoid about the ticks I wish I had a table set up here on the side of the forerunner you've seen those tables that they make to put on tires that would be perfect right now if I put it on the tire it won't be stabilized very good so actually if I had a solution for that be perfect. This is pretty level. Table over there didn't work. I just put it here. See, I'm just not. I have a lot of coverage. The hatch comes about there, so it'd be optimal to be under this. I'll come up with something without having to buy the $200 table that just fastens to your wheel. These little bugs. I keep seeing them. I keep thinking they're ticks. They're not. You know, the good thing about making coffee when you're camping, all the grounds just spill everywhere, just no big deal. I'm just gonna put the mocha pot in here. This will keep it warm. This is just my reinforcement in case the espresso it takes a lot of time to make, so you really need to make like four to make a difference. My patience goes away and I only make two, then I have this as a backup. Too hot to handle. Too cold to hold. They're called the Ghostbusters and they're in control. What? Stop it. Stop it. It's easier to squat <laughs> than the hunchback of Notre Dame over it. Alright, and rinse and repeat. So I need another out of espresso so we have to do it all over again mm -hmm. yeah I have a chair in the car I haven't got it out I'm just, I'll just sit on this it's fine under the awning life couldn't be any better Ticks cannot follow me. I'll sit on the ground. Hell, I'll lay down and stretch out too. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> uh, mm, pretty good. So i got a couple spots I'm going to check out today. Devil's Backbone. And then I think there's an old bridge there that you can't go across. I don't know. We're going to find out. I can't remember. And then there's another part of the, the trail system, which there's a pedestrian bridge over over I assume Cedar Creek so we're going to check that out but it's kind of wonky you can drive one way to one side of it of the bridge and there's a little hike to it there's plenty of parking there for sure in the Mark Twain National Forest and then the other access that gets you to the other side of the bridge it's not Mark Twain National Forest first of all and I'm not sure it doesn't look like there's an actual place to park other than parking on the 
the street and to get to the one with the parking lot you have to go way around I think from where I'm at now I'm from the devil's backbone so it might be a ridiculous amount of driving just <laughs> so I might cheat and do the quickly park on the road check out the bridge and I need to learn a better knot for for tying this I want it to release faster and if the way I do it which I can't even tell you what that knot is it's it's got a name but it's a half hitch haga mahaga. Wow, I don't know what kind of. <laughs> I was getting experimental when I. I remember I did something weird when I tied that one off. I don't even know what I did, but man, that thing was awesome. That came right off, but it held tight. I don't know what uh, what kind of knot that was, but that, that'd be perfect if I could only replicate that in my brain. It's the some bitch half hitch, I think. That's what I'll call it. The, the mystery mystery knot that I'll never remember how to do ever again. Some bitch half hitch. One thing I wish I had, I have it on our camper is a broom like with, a, with a like with a long have a little hand hand broom. That's not something I'm going to be keeping in in the uh, forerunner. That's for sure. It's too much room. Not worth it. Keep it simple, stupid man. I like I won't even get my chair out because I can just sit on the ground and literally I sat for like a minute and then I was doing things. Came and sit still. So I'm going to force myself to sit still sometimes, not all the time. But Especially in the morning, I'm gotta go, gotta move. Same thing with my editing. You want if you, if you watch my videos, you should like and subscribe and that, all that stuff, and then you can watch other videos for free, one time offer only. It's not true at all. But simple, like keep it simple, keep the editing simple. Don't overcomplicate anything. And sometimes I'll go down a wormhole. Oh, I'll animate this over a thing and do something cool. And the, like, what does that help with the story? <laughs> Is there a story? No, it's reality. It's verite, right? I guess. No, it's not. It's more documentary, I guess, because you're talking to the camera. All right, the awning's finally put away. That is just a pain. You probably, I don't know if you saw, but this side like collapsed. Fell because I can't be in two places at once, so I have to balance while I put the arms in, the legs in, the supports in, whatever the end. And it falls, clank right on the door, but it kind of blends in with the other scratches. Finally out of here. Let's go. So I'm heading west on 363. Keeps you in the Mark Twain forest for a bit and then and you're just in private property. It's following Dry Fork Creek. I was just a Dry Fork recreation area. And it is it is dry, there's a little water in it. It's not flowing by any means, but what's this to the right? Oh, rubby. Oh, this is a trail. Am I on, still on Mark Twain National Forest? I am. Oh, all right, well, we'll go down this trail, maybe. Still in the National Forest, so it's, <laughs> Comes all the cedars. That's gonna scratch the tent. Boom! Didn't scratch it though. It was a soft cedar. Soft cedar. It's an 80s pop, synth pop band, soft cedar. Well, this is fun. Unexpected fun. This is a little hidden gem here. Far. The other thing I found at the end of the trail, looks like something starts there, but those trees are, no, no car's gonna squeeze between there. Now this isn't even marked. Still have to mark it on my map. I want to turn around. Guys, this is a great, great little, little spot, man. Oh my God, I totally almost hit that tree. Wow. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not. Less talking, more paying attention. Are you a distracted driver? All right, I think I'm gonna go forward. <laughs> oh, there's a branch. I just flopped off my tent. All right, so we're getting back onto the gravel. That's French for gravel. 
I'm just gonna take, keep taking 363. I'm probably gonna turn around. I still don't have internets. Problem is this road does not take me up. It does not take me to Devil's Backbone where I wanna go. I mean, you could go up and around somewhere. I think my best bet is to backtrack back all the way to Pine Ridge. hiding behind the tree. Right across the road from that church is Cedar Creek Trail marker. It's like a, the whole thing's like a 36 mile huge loop. It's pretty faded, it's hard to read. Actually, <laughs> actually it's not hard to read at all. It's just full of <gasps> dust. So yes, yeah, Cedar Creek and I think, I think the, oh that may just be, I think the gray diamond, although this might just be faded or the color might have fell off, I don't know. Anyway, there was a marker for, for uh, mountain bikes. All right, back in the car, a little distraction. How far am I from the capital? Shoot, it's probably 10 miles. So when I'm done, or maybe I'll go downtown Jeff City and uh, sit down and eat somewhere. Some nice little restaurants, I think, down there close to the capital. All right, so that road, might be able to see the tower there, but it's fence that borders the airport here, which is why you will see no drone footage on this trip. The only drone shot I kind of wanted was just to go up like when it gets started, like twilight, when all the city lights come on, just to see the contrast between the dense forest and the city. Not happening, and, 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 and that's okay. You can imagine that. You can imagine that. It's, it's good. It's good. You got this. Or the new Photoshop, I could just, just virtually fake all that, you know? <laughs> Yikes. Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple. So yeah, we're still bordering the airport, going around this, and then we had... Uh, to the east a couple miles and doubles backbone. That's my destination. Well, this is awesome. We're still in the forest. <laughs> a little retreat. A little bit of a little bit. It, it's just bumpy, like right here. It's a nice little ridge here. Douglas backbone. Hope I can freaking turn around somewhere. I have to back up that. That's not gonna be fun. Oh god. There's no where to turn around. So that'll be a bummer. Oof. Right ahead tree. Great, now I'm on private property, but I can turn around here. I mean, the street's not private property. Yeah, I can turn around here. Nice. So I believe that's Cedar Creek at the bottom here. There you go, there's your private property. I'm gonna turn this way. Didn't air down is the only thing. This is literally a quarter mile, maybe. Yeah, I wish I would air down. You may need it crawling these rocks. I mean, it, it would definitely help. And here comes our branch. Yeah, camera's still there. All right, here we go. It's on the right. See the oh. Rock walls here. At the top is a little camping area, a little dispersed camping area. 
I wonder who owns the private property down there. Be kind of cool. I don't know if you can see out there or not. Cedar Creek Trail was down there. Oof. Part of it. Cedar Creek itself, which I call Cedar River because it's pretty big. Going into this campsite right here. I'll just park here in the shade. Let's walk it. So here's the campsite right on top there. All right, well, there's some trash. Uh, at least it's folded up, I guess. This trail goes all the way down. That yeah, might just be a lookout. Look out on this side to Cedar Creek. Nice. There, there's your drone footage. Just imagine this really flying, flying. I could put it in slow-mo and tie a string to it and just throw it. Good lookout. Now we're gonna go look out the other side where the trail was that took me down. Oh, you can see there where I kissed some rock. bit of gravel dust. All right, so let's go. Check it out. Just a little ledge took me down. Devil's backbone. that. Now that is awesome. Glad I went down this trail. Glad I went down this trail. Wow, that's awesome. There it is. Cedar Creek. See, I bet it curves around. It's like a horseshoe bend kind of thing. The river like bends around this devil's backbone, almost like a horseshoe bend. It could, could be called horseshoe bend. There's thousands of those all over the country. Most famous one in Arizona, which look at my YouTube, you'll, you'll find it. It's there, it's beautiful. So yeah, winds around here and I'm pretty sure it goes around because we know it's on the other side of this bluff. Cars, the campsite. There's the road I went down, emptied on the private property. There's the trail I just came back from with the view. All right, one more stop. This may be a bust, but we're gonna find out and we're pretty close to it, so let's go. So, this is private property right here. So, I'm just parked on the road, checking out this bridge, which takes you through the Cedar Creek Trail system. Pedestrian bridge over the Cedar Creek. Unsafe. I love it. So if I step on this board here, it'll launch my camera into the water. Ooh, there's a snake. 
black snake, little tiny guy. I heard him slithering. I gotta tell you though, that devil's backbone, it is not marked. I mean, I haven't, a lot, I've seen a lot of signs for dry fork, recreation area, Pine Ridge, and the trail, Cedar Creek Trail, Cedar Creek Trail throughout all this. Devil's backbone. There's nothing marking it at all. So wow, that is a find. I mean, I, the first time I came out here, I didn't even know it was there. I just started looking at the map more thoroughly. See, I told you, I camped for free close to the capital of Missouri, Jeff City. Remember, you learned that in second grade? So I thought it'd be a good idea to eat a whole dish ton of food and then drive two and a half hours home. Last bite, ugh. So that's, that was my decision for the day. And then I got a coffee, so that's just gonna fill me up, not wake me up. No, I didn't camp here. I camped 10, 15 miles away for free. Good night, everybody. Cedar Creek Trail. Cedar Creek Trail. Cedar Creek Trail. Cedar Creek Trail. Nice. What the? What? So why are they doing that? What's it doing? My car was 100% clean when I started this trip. Even when I was done working yesterday, and as soon as I got on these gravel roads, and that's not that's not fun, dirty. That's not mud and awesome trail war paint. Trail war paint, man. That's that's the greatest band I've ever seen. I remember back when I saw them at the hurricane in 1993? Trail war paint rocked. Did you see how I lip synced the F word? That was pretty good. Yeah, I don't have to cut that out later. Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder.